What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to this week's all new character bio. Today we'll explore the origins of a character who will be making his first on-screen appearance just a week from tomorrow on September 20th in the Season 4 premiere of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the newest Ghost Rider himself, Robbie Reyes. In the show, he'll be portrayed by Gabriel Luna, and while we don't know anything yet about how he'll play the character, he's got a few things going for him. He really looks the part, he's got the sick jacket, and he's definitely got the wheels. But just how did Robbie Reyes come to be Marvel's Ghost Rider? That's where we come in. Roberto Robbie Reyes was born, raised, and lives in the rough and tumble neighborhoods of East Los Angeles. As his parents disappeared sometime in his teenage years, Robbie is the sole caretaker of his disabled and wheelchair-bound younger brother, Gabe. Working as a mechanic to provide what little he can for his brother, Robbie dreamt of escaping the streets that he grew up on, a neighborhood where his brother was mercilessly bullied and where crime was an ever-present reality. One day, he saw an opportunity. Sneaking into the auto shop he worked for, he borrowed a 1969 Dodge Charger he had been working on and entered an illegal street race which promised $50,000 to the winner. A talented driver, Reyes quickly took the lead and was headed towards the finish line and a new life for himself and his brother when it all went wrong. A helicopter swooped in overhead, its searchlight trained on the sleek black muscle car. The cops, it appeared, had arrived. The other racers scattered as Robbie tried to shake the chopper on his tail. Eventually, though, Robbie's skill failed and his luck ran out as he turned into a dead-end alley. Stepping out of the car, he surrendered himself, kneeling on the ground with his hands on his head. Then, they opened fire. They were not, as it turned out, the cops, but paramilitary soldiers working for one Calvin Zabo. The car was carrying bags and bags of his mysterious pink pills, which contained the chemicals used to turn him into his alter ego, Mr. Hyde. The soldiers, as instructed, burned the evidence, leaving Robbie's body and the car to be consumed by flames. But as they burned, something strange happened. Reyes didn't die, but was actually reborn as the Ghost Rider, fully healed and now with supernatural abilities. The car, too, was unscathed and had been transformed as well. You see, the car was possessed by the spirit of a man by the name of Eli Morrow, a former hitman for the Russian mob who had been killed while doing his dirty work. Because his work was unfinished, despite all the terrible things he had done, he did not go to hell. Instead, his spirit inhabited the car and bonded itself to Robbie when the teenager met his untimely end. Together, they set out to seek revenge on the men that killed Robbie and foil Mr. Hyde's evil plans for the unsuspecting citizens of Los Angeles. Their union wouldn't always be an easy one, but that's a story for another time. As far as abilities go, Robbie's bonding with Eli Morrow affords him a variety of supernatural abilities, from the iconic Ghost Rider Hellfire and Chains manipulation to limited, though not instantaneous, teleportation. Perhaps his most invaluable tool, though, is his Hell Charger, which can repair itself instantly, though it's essentially invulnerable to mortal weapons with incredible ramming ability. As far as recommended reading goes, for Robbie's origin, be sure to check out the all-new Ghost Rider series from 2014, and for a great crossover between the Ghost Riders of past past and present, the short-lived Secret Wars tie-in Ghost Racers is a must-read. But that'll wrap it up for this week's character bio. Next week, tune in as we explore the DC Rebirth rebooted origins of Captain Boomerang. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.